The federal government has been advised not to scrap any power scheme, but should rather embark on a lease to cut it and revive the scheme in the interest of unemployed youth in Nigeria. The government has also been charged to ensure that those found culpable of corruption and other mismanagement in the scheme should face the wrath of the law. Correspondent Kunilju completes the story. The Empower program was created to reduce the rate of unemployment in Nigeria. Under the scheme, graduates and non-graduates are given jobs and trained in relevant skills that will make them earn more money and help them stand out both locally and globally. The program under the Social National Investment Program is the federal government of Nigeria's direct intervention to tackle youth unemployment and re-energize public service delivery in four key sectors of education, agriculture, health and vocational training. Since its inception, the NPAR has provided jobs and training for millions of youths and graduates between ages of 18 and 35 across the 774 local government areas of the Federation. He supplies some manpower to some schools, to some, uh, you know, um, uh, small scale, and majorly to educational institute. So, and they are there. So, if they didn't ask they are definitely going to contribute their quota. The empowerment is a good platform to see how some youth can be out of the streets. And secondly, the youth need to be encouraged. And how can we encourage the youth? We can only encourage them when they are enlightened concerning certain things. Just like example, if youth want to go into a particular skills, how are we sure the youth is grounded on that particular field of skills or he or she want to enter? When the program was established, that was uh, uh, 2017, the first set, based on the running, they were enjoying it adequately. They were enjoying it perfectly. Just that getting to 2020 to 20, that is when the management of that particular program, they were not able to manage it well. That is why everything scattered. However, the federal government at the weekend announced the suspension of the scheme due to some irregularities. The National Communication Director of the scheme, Jamaluddin Kabir, in a statement issued in Abuja at the weekend, revealed that officers of the scheme discovered that some beneficiaries whose participation at labs since 2022 have remained on and continue to expect payments from the government. Not only that, he disclosed that some consultants are holding on to beneficiaries' fund disbursed to them long ago, even when their contract ended in March 2023 without any renewal. This move has continued to generate mixed feelings among Nigerians with an appeal to the government not to scrap the program. But first of all, let's even understand the empowerment basically is for work. And if it is beneficiary to the citizens of Nigeria, why should it be scrapped? So these are the one of the things that we need to look at. If it is actually beneficiary to the citizens, so there is no need scrapping it. And if other citizens have actually benefited from it, then I think there is a need of improvement, not scrapping. That means there should be a channel of checking and balance. If there is a way of checking or balance, that means there cannot be double payment on it. So these are the reasons we have to look at. These are the things we need to look into it. Who are those channeling? Who are those distributing the money? Who are those in charge of doing it? So we should look at it and see how we can look for a way forward. I think that's where, that is the basic things about it. Government are trying to do a check on the program. So they want to audit it. Not that they scrap it per se, they have to rest it for now. Because Empower itself has a time frame. It has a time frame. So what they discover and what feel tell to federal government is that some people are even gainfully employed and they find themselves on the program. So that's the more reason why government has to rest the program for the time being. If they are going to resuscitate it. Respondents call for proper audit of the scheme and ensure that the NIFU is done before the commencement of another scheme for youth employment and empowerment. Look into the first one first, how it works and where it is now from the way it starts and which level are we now before we can implement or introduce another very one so that it will not become the same way we are looking at scrapping this very one. So at the end of the day, they will find out what Charlie went down. And they have to put 
check in place to see that that thing did not happen again. My advice is that uh, they should not scrap empower. What they say they want to do, let them do it and uh, clean the audience table and then let the program returns. It's just that it's lack of mismanagement. If there's a proper checking on that, 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 could, have, that, that would, could have happened because there's no proper checking. If the problem we're having in this country is that there's nothing like check on balance. We are giving this assignment to some people and like, as, assign them to do some a particular set of projects, but there's nothing like checking uh, check on balance. You allow them to be running, uh, running constant, constant running over the businesses, which affects a lot. It is expected that the ongoing audit of the Empire scheme will be more revealing and pave way for a more organized and rewarding training and empowerment scheme for Nigerian youths. Kunle Ojo. Galaxy TV.